So this short tutorial is about string mutability and immutability. If something is mutable, it means it can be changed, but it cannot, sorry, it means, it, yeah, if something is mutable, it can be changed, and it can also be added to. If something is immutable, it cannot be changed, but it can be added to. So I'm just going to show you by doing this real quick. So I'm going to have string, so string 1, and I'm just going to make this be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And I'm going to make something called string 2, another variable, and this will just be an empty string. So if I want to change the position of, say, B with D and just swap the characters. So have the string again, but have B be in D's place and B have uh, D, B in, D, B in B's place. So if I wanted to do this, this would be very simple. Um, first, I want to identify the indexes. So I'm just going to say uh, index, index of D, uh, index of B first is equal to 1, and then index of D, index of D is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. So if I want to swap these uh, around, all I would have to do, if strings were mutable, which they are not, you would be able to do this. Uh, string 1, I'm going to say index of B, string 1 index of D is equal to just the inverse. So this is D and this is B. Uh, too bad I can't make it slightly bigger, but that's fine. Okay, so all that this is going to do is that this is going to get string 1 and the position of index B, which is 1, is now going to be equal to the same thing on the right side of the equals, which is this one here. String 1 is now, uh, uh, index B is now equal to index D. So now that means that index B, which is 1, is now equal to index of D, which is 3. So that means B has now been given uh, index 3 and D has now been given index 1. So you'd effectively be swapping them. And this would be the same for the other one. So the index of D here is now the equal to the right side of the equals on the same position in the comma. So notice this comma here. So the right side index of D is now equal to the right side index of B. So D, which is 3, its new index is now 1. So you'd think that this would work. Uh, this will work if, if these if strings were mutable, which they are not. So if I were to run this, it would just cause an error. String object does not support item assignment. So that just means that it cannot be edited. It's, it's immutable. However, if we wanted to, uh, we can add to an immutable thing. Uh, if it's a string in our case, we could just do plus equals and then just add a new character. Let's just say... Uh, p. So this will this is just concatenation. So whatever the current value of string one is, this here, we're going to add plus add a new value p. So this would be a b c blah 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 up to h p. That's what it would be. So concatenation is just fine. Uh, that we're not actually changing this. We're just adding to it. But what would we want to do if we actually did want to change b and d? How would we do that? Well, what you actually have to do is you actually have to create a whole new string to do this. So I'm just going to make uh, string2 be equal to an empty string, and we're going to add all the characters, all these, to string2, but in the positions that we want to put them in. So all we're going to say is for uh, character, for C, in string1, we're going to do something, right? But what I actually want is I actually want to use both the character that appears at the position because in order to change b with d we need to know their indexes so we can still use a for loop but i'm going to add for index for index character in enumerate enumerate just allows pulling out the index and the character simultaneously so for index character in string one do something so this would be for example i c would be zero a a has index zero and A is the character. So 0 A and then 1 B and then 2 C and so on and then 3 D and so on. Uh, rather than C I'll just say character and I'll call this, uh, call this index just so you know what we're working with. Okay 
So, now what we want to do is we want to start swapping around these characters. So we know that once we get to position B, we want to swap it with position D. So when we get to 1, we want to swap it with 3. So all we have to do for that is um, if, uh, if index is equal to index of B, so if we get up to index B, then what do we want to do? Uh, not equals, this is assigning has to be double equals to check if these two are both the same value. So if we get up to B, what do we want to do? Well, we want D in that in that position in this case. So what we're going to say is um, string two. We're going to add to the new empty string plus equals. Uh, we're going to add puzzle. Whatever is in the puzzle at this position, so index of D. So when we get to position of B, so when the index, it'll start at 0, it'll go 0, 1, 2, 3, blah, blah, blah. Once we get up to B's index, which is 1, we want to add to a new string the puzzle at the index of D. So uh, we want to add in place of B whatever, whatever is in position 3. Whatever is in position 3. Puzzle at the position of 3. Position of 3 is D. So when it gets to B's position, when the index gets to B's position, it'll add in D. And we want to do that exact same thing for uh, when we get to D's position. Uh, index of D, and then when we get to index of D, we want to pass in index of B. Uh, LF, that's what this is supposed to be. And then we just want to have else just add in whatever character. So if we're not at a position we want to swap, then we're just gonna <coughs> we're just gonna add in any character that appears next. We're just gonna add it in. It's fine. So string two plus equals whatever character is next in the line, which is just the character that appears in that place. So if we get to position zero, I, I'll just run this just to show you. Uh, let's just visualize this. So it, it creates our first string with all the characters, creates our second empty string with nothing. Uh, this is in Python Visualizer, so you can just Google Python Visualizer and it will come up. Visualizer is spelt, just Google this, Python Visualizer, and it will open up uh, this, which you can change to Java if you want to use Java, or you can also use C++ or Ruby if you wanted to do that as well. Actually Ruby is on support, apparently. But yeah, you can use Java or Python. Uh, let's just visualize again. So it creates our two strings. We get the indexes. Uh, we're not actually getting in indexes, we're just setting the index. So index of B, we're just e equaling it to an, some number of 1. And index of D is just some number 3, which we've counted ourselves. Okay. And if you wanted to actually get the index, well you could do that exact same thing with uh, numerate again. So you just uh, do full index character in enumerate string 1. And then you just do like if the character is equal to say b, uh, you could just um, make a variable and just assign it to whatever the index is. Uh, so for index character in enumerate, so we're starting at 0, which is character a. If the index, so if index, is equal to index of b, which it is not, we will just skip. Uh, if index is equal to index of D, which is not, 0 is not equal to 3, so skip. So we're just going to add to string, string 2 plus equals the character. There you go. String 2 now has A. Now we, now we want to swap the, the B. So if index, if index, the red arrow is where we're up to, green is the previous step. And it says down there, so you know. If the index is equal to index of B, so if 1 is equal to 1, which it is, then we want to add to string 2, we want to add to this, the puzzle in hard brackets, the index of D. So, uh, index of D, so that is uh, 3. So, go through the, get the string, get puzzle, and add in uh, index 3. So index 3 is D, so it'll be A, and then it will be 
main puzzle is not. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Okay, I don't know where I was going there. <laughs> uh, string one. Yep. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so we'll add an A, and then it will add string one. D. And then it'll get to the next character, which is 2, which is not equal to 3 or 1. So it'll just add in the next character, which is C. Add in C. And then it'll get to the next character, uh, 3. So 3 is not equal to index of B. It'll skip the first one. It'll go to the second one, index of D. So 3 is equal to 3. That's right. So then we just want to add in string 1, string 1, whatever comes in place of index B. So in this string, what is index 1? That is B. So 0, 1. So add in character B. And then it'll just go through, it'll skip the rest of these, and it'll just start adding in the remaining characters, which is E, and then F, because 5 is not equal to 3 or 1, and then 6 is not equal to 3 or 1, so it'll just add in the rest. And that, you can see, you now have A, D, rather than A, B, C, B, rather than CD. So we've swapped B, we've swapped the B position with the D position. So that is how you do that. Uh, but there's one last question, what if I just want to make this go a little bit faster? Uh, what you could do very easily, if I know I'm only swapping two characters, right, I could just make a counter, just make this be equal, be equal to zero. And now I'm just going to say, um, uh, I could essentially just uh, keep incrementing the counter, so counter plus equals 1, and then counter plus equals 1, and then what I could do is, is I could actually make this one an elif, and instead I could have an if up here. So uh, assuming that the counter is now 2, so I've swapped b with d, so I've gone through this one at least once, and I've gone through this one at least once, then that means B has been passed, uh, C has been passed, and then D has been passed. So all I have to do for that is just put in an if, and I can just say uh, if the counter is equal to 2, oh, double equals, if the counter is equal to 2, then we know that the two positions that we wanted to swap have been swapped, so we can just skip doing this ever again and we can just um, do string to plus equals the character. And uh, since this has been reached, uh, this else will not be reached because this will be this will do its function and then it'll just skip everything else. Uh, string to plus equals character, yeah. So I can just show you. Uh, do, 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 do. It'll add B. So add D, then C, then B. Okay, so now counter is equal to 2. So if the counter is equal to 2, which it is, then you can just add in the following character, so E. So you see how it just did this first one, and it doesn't even go down to the elif or else's anymore, so it just skips all the rest of these. That's how you would speed this up. So once you know you've finished, once you've uh, done the other ones and you've counted them, then you can just uh, do the remaining stuff and just skip everything else that comes and follows. So that's how you swap positions of an immutable thing.